like yeah this is this is this is strange like this this is too much so like i've already exed out of my brain us even going on you know a venture of a relationship so I, I, immediately he was already getting friend zone little did he know if he ever sees this video so What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see, I am sitting in a new space. So um, if you guys don't know, I am in Rochester, New York. I'm staying with one of my close friends and I promised her a story time and listen. So the story time originally was supposed to be filmed in the car. Then I decided I didn't want to film it in the car because <laughs> I was like, it's kind of boring in there I want like a different scene I film in my car all the time so I was just like child we're just gonna go ahead and just pick somewhere in the house to film and it's cold so I was like well what? I mean why not sit in front of the fireplace go ahead and enjoy the warmth and go ahead and tell you guys about the absolute worst date of my life <laughs> um you know, I've had some questionable dates in the past, and I was just like, okay, you know, that was an experience, or, um, wow, this person is very interesting, or, you know, did I really agree to this type of situation? So, without further ado, go ahead, grab your snacks, go ahead, grab your glass of wine, your tea, whatever time of the day it is, your breakfast, whenever. And go ahead and get comfortable and come right on back, okay? What is that she has over here? Oh, they're just so comfy and soft. So we're gonna go ahead and um, go ahead and get right on comfortable and just get into the story. All right, so this story time takes about place, I wanna say about three years ago. So three, we're in 2021. So hold on, let's do my math here. <laughs> um, so back in 2018, um, I was kind of like in a situation of like I was dating around and I also was entertaining somebody which was my my big relationship that I had back then and um, I wanted to go on dates and stuff like that and at the time I was working for Smile Direct Club um, I will have a story time to talk about that in the future but yes yeah, so I was working for Smile Direct Club making smiles child that's all I, that's all I did and um, I really wanted to look into dating other professionals like myself. Um, those of you guys that may not know, I am LGBTQIA plus community friendly and I am a part of the community myself. So I was looking for another gent that was, you know, I'm on my level. And at the time I was making six figures. So I wanted to kind of deal with somebody that was obviously making like a little bit of six figures, something like that. At least so I thought, but then you realize that you get the, j j just hold on, j just hold, hold that thought, I'm going to tell you in one, in one minute, just, just hold on, okay, just hold on, <laughs> hold on I'm going to tell you, so I ended up getting um, a random Facebook message, okay, um, from this individual and then they were like I think you I think I have you on Instagram so they have wrote me on Facebook and then they were like I think I have you on Instagram so I didn't respond back to that message and they literally hit me up on Instagram um I went ahead and looked for the messages I have a habit of throwing of like deleting threads and stuff like that if I don't talk to you anymore or if we don't talk on an often basis just to kind of keep my inboxes low just because I am getting a lot more DMs and stuff like that and it's just it just becomes too much to be scrolling through there and I don't be remembering everybody handles so I just I, I delete so I don't have the thread anymore but he has said something like along the lines um, you know I've seen you um, on Instagram I like your your photos and stuff like that um, I noticed that you live in the Tampa Bay area, which at the time I was, and he was like, um, I think I saw you at Smile Direct Club. And I was like, yeah, I work there. I'm at the Tampa location. At the time I was like traveling around and stuff like that for Smile Direct Club, so, but I kind of knew like, 
yeah okay he saw me at that location i was the manager there so i was like yeah sure cool did you come in for a scan did like one of did i scan you or did you know because he didn't look familiar but i ended up i was taking care of a lot of customers at the time so most of the time i'm like i don't freaking remember I'll get the like, today you Whoa, what the hell is you doing? Oh my God. We ain't never did that before. Why you thought today was the, the day to do that shit? Fist bump. Ooh. All right, man. All right. All right. Hey, man. If it was... I don't know. So, and sometimes I should always go with my gut feeling. I don't know why I don't, but I just don't. I should have went with my gut feeling on this. So he had hit me up and was like, hey, um... You know, I saw you at Smile Direct Club, whatever. Um, I didn't decide to go through you guys. I ended up, like, deciding to possibly go through, like, Invisalign or something like that. Like, you know, through his doctor. And I was just like, okay. Like, did, uh, is, is, is this your way of apologizing to me? Like, I really didn't, like, get the point of the conversation. And normally, I would swerve people, like, quickly. Like, normally, I'd be like, er, like, you're not. We, we, we ain't got nothing to talk about. No. <laughs> I don't know you. I don't know you from a campaign. We're not going to talk about anything. So he um, was pretty consistent. Like, I would give him, like, short one-word responses, stuff like that, whatever. I mean, he was at this for about three to four weeks, y'all. So he he, he, he he was at you, boy. He wanted he wanted to, to see me. He wanted to meet me. Like, he expressed all these different things. Like, every time we would talk, he would always mention, like, oh, what are you doing this weekend or what have you. And I'd be like... Oh, I'm chilling, or oh, I'm doing something. And most of the time, I was working and stuff like that too. Like I was either traveling or whatever the case was. So what I ended up doing was um, saying, "Yeah, cool, let's go ahead and meet up." So I decided that we could go ahead and um, meet up. Now this isn't the official date, so we did actually meet one other time before we actually went on the date. But it was real brief. Um, I was at Starbucks. Um, waiting for an interview to come and he was like hey where you at um, you know the set because we kind of lived near each other um, from from when he had moved to Tampa and um, I was like hey I'm at this Starbucks I'm waiting for an interview he was like oh cool I'm actually gonna come there ironically right I think somebody Everything tried else? to set me up I believe that and I'm like, yeah, sure. So he was like, I'm going to come there and, um, you know, if I see you, I see you. So we ended up seeing each other and that's how I actually met him, which I kind of like the fact that we actually met that way. Now, we did FaceTime one other time too before. We did FaceTime one other time before then, um, but it was like really brief. It wasn't anything long. So, I mean, the, just kind of like meeting this individual was already a little awkward. So it was a bunch of red flags and I'm just like... So I um, decided that I would just go ahead and just be nice and just go on the dates, right? So he, of course, and I hate this. I don't uh, com comment below if you guys hate this. If somebody wants to take you on a date, they're making you choose. No, you want to go on a date with me. Why do I have to choose? Why don't you go ahead and pick the spot where we should meet and have dinner? So he ended up making me shoes, and I picked my one of my favorite restaurants, which is Bonefish Grill. So we went to Bonefish Grill. Um, I typically always typically order the same thing, like I always get the bang bang because bang bang is banging. Um, I get the salmon, and then I'll do like their seasonal breakfast um, uh, vegetable, which is typically broccoli, and then I'll do uh, my pineapple martinis. I love my pineapple martinis. Any of their martinis are really really good. Oh, that's making me in the mood for a martini. Making me in the mood for a martini. But, um, so we ended up, now we did drive separate cars. So I met him there and I met, him, you know, whatever. And we went to the one that, um, if you live in Tampa, we went to the one in Carrollwood. So we had ended up meeting to that one. It wasn't too, too far from, from, um, from Smile Door Club. At the time, it was at, way after work hours. So I had went home, showered, obviously, and then changed and ended up meeting him there. But, the crazy part was we ended up um <clears throat> we ended up not getting there at the same time so i had went in and shoot i had went in sat down told him what table i was at no actually i went in ordered a drink at the bar because i was just 
like, let's I, I didn't want it to be like let's get the date over with but I kind of had that vibe because I just was just so unsettled about this date I just don't know why I don't know why guys I did it I just did I just went on the date just just to go and <clears throat> he comes number one you know when somebody wears so much cologne it's like they literally took the bottle and just was like like this all over them took so much cologne and literally it had it all over him and it was just like whew. like this is before covid times obviously it's 2018 so i'm just like whew. like whoa like you can smell him from the moment he came in through the dope so he came in and i flagged him down he came and sat down by me he was like um he was like it was kind of rude of you literally starts off the conversation like this it was kind of rude of you to go ahead and get seated without me bitch shoot him so I was just like, okay. So I was like, hmm, all right. So this is how we starting off. So I said, well, well, I'm sorry about that. I said, did you have a good day? He was like, yeah, I had a good day. Um, I'm, I'm just, just kind of feeling some type of way that, that you went ahead and came in and ordered a drink inside that. I'm like, well, I'm, I'm sorry, you, you know. I told you that we were going to meet at 7.30, which was the time we were going to meet at 7.30. It is almost 8 o'clock now. I'm sorry that I came in. Had, you know, I had a long day too. Shit, I wanted a, a drink. My damn self. So he sits down, you know, and, and we start, you know, to, to have a conversation. Um, he started asking, like, what was my role at Smile Direct Club? What did I do there? What was my plans? Such and such. And he was telling me how, you know, he had just recently came from North Carolina, from um, Charlotte, and he was looking to possibly either stay in Tampa for a year or two or possibly go down to Miami and this, that, whatever, which was already, like, blah, 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 blah to me because I'm like, I have no intentions of ever going to Miami, no intentions of moving to Miami, and no intentions of ever going back and forth to Miami that often to see anybody. So I'm already like kind of like in my brain like okay that's cool mm -hmm. and I'm, I'll be supportive with anybody whatever they want to do but I'm just not no nah, we're, not, we're not doing that so so he's like um yeah so you know if we if if, if, if we were an item in the future um you know you 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 know that you'd have to come down there with me Bruh. and I'm just like wow so we 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 jump into that though this is what we doing you you don't even know me like that yet and you already jump in and tell me what okay so that was strike number one for me um strike number two was he got a little impatient because the uh i had ordered my drink at the bar so i ordered my drink at the bar and then they seated me so i didn't get to see the waitress or anybody just as yet and i mean it, it was like in the middle of the week but it wasn't like like a busy night so obviously they didn't have a ton of staff even though it wasn't that busy they just didn't have a lot of staff so he started to get impatient and the one thing that i don't like about anybody i don't care who you are um i've worked i'm not i've never been a server or you know anything like that a waiter or anything like that but i've worked in the service industry also you know the industry is service and you know smile directly the service you know just working in a customer service customer facing you know um service it's it, it's a lot and especially when it comes to you know being busy and stuff like that and i just don't like when people are disrespectful to to those individuals and he was like oh this is ridiculous i don't understand why we're waiting this long and starts raising his voice in the restaurant y'all Wait a damn minute. Raising his voice, talking about something. This is ridiculous. I've been waiting here for all this time and I ain't get no service. Like, literally was like, yo, why we ain't got no service yet? I was just like, okay. Now, mind you, he is like head of like a marketing firm or something like that that he had a job at. So, like, so like he had a pretty good job and was very much so a professional. And I'm just like, you are looking like a fool right now. Are you serious? Like, shouting in these people's restaurant. Like, he was like, yo, what's up? And I'm just looking at him like, just my, my martini like, bro, relax. She coming? Relax. So we, you know, um, our, our server came, she took our order, whatever. I had ordered another drink because at this point I'm like, I, I need a drink because this is strike number two with this guy. I'm 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 going I'm gonna be respectful and give him three, maybe three and a half, 
you know, because we, we are here, and I am hungry, too. I want to eat. Like, can we at least make it so the food comes? So I went ahead and... Ciao. Put in my next drink order, my food order, everything. Everything. So we, she, we were just coming back one more time, and then afterwards I was asking for that check because I was ready to go already. So he goes to me, um... You know, I just I just don't like when people take too long and I'm spending my hard earned money and this that way. And I was just like, Yeah, I understand that, but you know, maybe 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 they, they you know, they're a little short staffed tonight, you know, whatever. He's like, That's that's fucking ridiculous. I don't wanna hear none of that. This that whatever. I'm spending my hard earned money. They need to make sure, you know, and this this ain't no cheap place. This is this is bonefish grill. And I'm just like Oh 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 okay. And me, I'm just like you so I asked him, I asked him flat, I said, are you having a bad day? He was like, no, I ain't having no bad day. What's, why are you asking me that? I said, because you... I mean, no, mind you, the first time that I saw him at Starbucks, he wasn't like that at all. Even though there wasn't anything to possibly trigger him. So that was, I'm thinking, like, do you have something going on with you, like, up here that's not being addressed? Like, because it was much given, like, bipolar disorder. Like, and... and Mental health, and this is a big disclaimer, I'm not making fun of mental health at all. It's very important, and I think mental health should be something that everybody takes in, takes a look into. Like, I really, really think that it's very, very important for everybody to look into mental health, for sure. But, baby, what I mean to tell you, I was just like... Yeah, this is this is this is strange. Like this this is too much. So like I've already X'd out of my brain us even going on, you know, a venture of a relationship. So at, uh, immediately he was already getting friend zone. Little did he know. If he ever sees this video, sorry. Yeah, that's why you don't hear from me anymore cuz you got friend zone, bro. Yup. 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 More Y'all will see why he got completely cut off in just a second, but at this very moment, he was friend zoned at this point. Um, and then a date wasn't gonna happen, it was gonna be you gonna come and chill with a group of friends of mine if I felt like dealing with you that day, literally at this point. And, um, you know, our food comes out and everything, and his food comes out, and I think it was something like along the lines. I'll just use an example. I don't remember exactly what he ordered. So, like, say for instance, order a steak. It was supposed to be medium well, and ended up coming like a little not as well as he wanted. He flipped shit, literally, y'all. This man went ahead and said, "Uh, what the fuck is this?" Out loud. So, like, we're already getting attention drawn to the, us now. You know, we didn't sit too far from the bar, so everybody from the bar was like turning hands and looking at him. And um, our server immediately came back home. She's like, I'm so sorry, is there a problem? And he was like, yeah, this shit is fucking disgusting. Like, it looks, it's just, it's, it looks raw. Like, and y'all, this is why I don't give certain people a chance. Like, what? When people hit me up for dates and stuff like that, even now, I'm just like, mm. Mm -mm. Because I just know the type of individual that I am. I know how to carry myself a certain way. And just like, you... Is it really that serious? Like, it's okay. They, they, they can take it back and fix it. It's not the end of the world. For you to like, make a scene out of nothing. Like that. So me, I kindly said to him, I said, you don't have to speak to her like that. I said, it's a mistake. They can fix it. You know, the, the server reiterated that as well. We're sorry, sir. We, we, we can fix it. He was like, fuck this. I don't want nothing from y'all. Y'all already fucked up from when we came in here. This, that, whatever. We're not paying for nothing. I said, um, excuse me. I, I will pay for my check. Period will cover my portion and I'm good so I went ahead and asked the server I said can you please just give me my check he was like what the fuck is your problem I said excuse me I said you know what I said sir let me go ahead and tell you something and and this is when Omari proceeded to nicely cuss him out I, and da, 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 I said let me go ahead and tell you something sir I don't know what hot 
get roof usable off this morning and, and, and which high horse you on but let me tell you something people that work in this industry and in any type of industry anybody that may work with you does not des not deserve to do with the attitude that you're putting out today I said I don't know what is your issue I said I already know I'll write off rip that we will not be seeing each other again he was like excuse me who are you talking to like that? I said, I'm talking to you. I said, I don't know what your issue is. And as far as Frank, I'm just going to go ahead. And I got up and I found my server and I said, can can you just, just let, 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 let me sign the check. I gave her, I think maybe like a 50 or $60 tip as well. Cause I just felt so sorry for her. And I got up and left and he comes right behind me. And it's like, yo, what, what's up? Like, why you got up from the table like that? I said, you don't know why? I said you just embarrassed me at this restaurant and I used to I used to go to that restaurant kind of frequent not like frequent frequently but kind of frequently I'm like I feel so embarrassed just to know like the next time I if I decide to go there they're gonna be like oh is that rude guy coming with you <laughs> yeah That's what I get, and I, I I blame myself. This is what I get for manifesting that I wanted the six-figure guy, which he was. He made a lot of money. Mm -hmm. I found out, you know, we I ended up like, you know, we had conversations and stuff like that. Obviously, before we met, like, what did he do? And he talked about how much money he made, and you know, I didn't go into detail about what I how much I was making or anything like that. I wasn't like a barber or anything at the time yet, but um, I was I was making a, a fairly decent amount of money at my at my nine to five. Um, but yeah, child, it ain't worth it. These men ain't worth it. Or female, you know, if, if, if they have money. I, please, please don't make that a main reason why you want to date somebody, please. Just don't. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. But I really hope y'all enjoyed my awful date practically from hell story time. I actually have not had another date that bad before. I have other dates that were kind of questionable, but this one took the cake. And it always stuck with me. And remember... People are people. They're human beings just like us, especially during today's age, during COVID, and it's a work shortage, and a lot of people are not working right now, and I've noticed this at restaurants too. They're very understaffed. Please be understanding. We're all trying. We're during some trying times these days, y'all, and just remember that everybody is a human being just like me and you. They probably hungry too. So just be patient. All right, well... If you guys definitely enjoyed seeing my handsome face today, and I hope that you guys consider to go ahead and subscribe, hit the subscribe button, go ahead and put those fingers moving in the comments, and hit that like button to go and help your boy out. And if you want to go ahead and follow up with me more, go ahead and check out my Instagram, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.